Now that we know all of the news about Madden 25, it's time to talk about the 25 new features that were added to the game. This is a roundup video for people that haven't been paying attention along the way. And I also combined multiple different things into one talking point. So it's actually a lot more than 25. Gonna have some exclusive gameplay coming for you guys tomorrow as well. So make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you do not miss that. Number one, ball carrier revamp. They've completely redone the ball carrier system and the ball carrier moves. You'll see players be able to bounce off of defense in different ways based on weight size momentum ratings timing and more there's also a bunch of new jukes spins hesitations and you can chain these moves together better than ever before number two boom tech the new physics based tackling system that was implemented this year is called boom tech and what this system does is give you a bunch of different physics based animations that can play out after a point of contact now you'll see players fall in different ways than ever before you'll see players stumble in different ways and now when two players meet at the point of contact there's a bunch of different ways that that could play out more so than ever before and it's probably the best tackling system we've ever seen in a madden game number three reloaded hit stick this kind of plays off of the boom tech but the hit stick has been completely redone and it factors in a lot of different things such as timing player ratings size speed momentum and everything it's a lot harder to hit stick this year your timing has to be on point and you want to be using a sizable player if you're going to go for a hit stick if you're trying to hit stick a big player with a small player or you're trying to make a weak side hit stick or hit some Somebody on the shoulder you're not going to be very successful and they're going to bounce off of you for extra yards but if you land that perfect timed hit stick you can cause fumbles number four new offensive gameplay features there's a bunch of these to talk about so i put them all in one talking point we've got new hot routes we've also got the ability to stem our routes either further down the field or shorter it's all completely up to us now we also have new blocking mechanics that let us half slide go empty or reset to our base protection and it also shows us who's blocking who and which defenders are hot giving us all the information we need with our protection you also have the ability to go for spectacular one-handed catches now with the lb or l1 spectacular catch button Number five, new defensive gameplay features. We've got some new features on that side of the ball as well, like the switch stick that allows you to switch between defenders before the ball is thrown, allowing you to bait the offense better than ever before. They've also added the ability to disguise your coverage shells inside of your formation. You can show whichever type of coverage shell you want and come out in a completely different coverage to throw the defense off. And when you combine that with the new hit sticking and boom tech on defense, you have all the power you need to get stops now. Number six, over a thousand new gameplay animations from catching to blocking to ball carrier moves. There's just overall been a ton of new gameplay animations added to the game. Even new throwing styles have been added as well. There's over 700 new catch animations, which includes a lot of one handed catches and a lot of new sideline possession catches. Wide receivers are able to contort their body better than ever before to get their hands on the ball. There's over 500 new blocking animations with the new blocking mechanics. And with all the new ball carrier moves that we talked about earlier, you can now pull off some of the sickest open field moves with the best ball carriers in the league number seven the new nfl kickoff of course they had to add this to the game so now we have the new kickoff rules but another thing i love about this is we have the ability to do trick kickoff returns like doing reverses to players and things like that to pull off some pretty crazy returns number eight over 900 new plays this is probably the biggest playbook update we've seen in recent memory for madden they've added a ton of new plays including a lot of new motion plays like the miami cheat motions although these are going to be in other playbooks as well because a lot of teams are using motion more than ever these days they've also even put plays like the chiefs super bowl winning play in the game as well a bunch of new trick plays and a lot of other stuff to dive into and they've also even added some new plays and formations on the defensive side of the ball as well number nine custom playbook overhaul when we're speaking about playbooks we have to talk about the new custom playbook overhaul now there are no play limits so you can make the craziest playbooks you want and they even said coming soon in an update they're going to allow you to finally save your custom formation audibles which is going to be a game changer now really quickly before we continue i do want to mention that we are still sponsored by underdog fantasy if you like sports and you like winning money then you've got to be on underdog fantasy playing their pick'em game basically all you have to do is pick higher or lower on a wide variety of player stats and if they hit you can win some big money and at sign up they'll always give you a free play so for example if you sign up during a WNBA night they'll give you caitlin clark to get a single point if you sign up during an mlb night they'll give you a guy like shohei otani to get a single plate appearance and with the nfl season coming up they're going to give you players every week to get a single yard a player like patrick mahomes for 
for example. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. And if you sign up using my promo code Ray, R-E-Y, they'll give you up to $250 of bonus cash to start with. And you just can't beat that. Number 10, new abilities. With the new Boom Tech and Ball Carrier revamp, they also added some new abilities to the game. On the offensive side of the ball, they've given us new running abilities like Tireless Runner and Steamroller. And on the defensive side of the ball, they've given us some new tackling abilities like Extra Pop for Hit Sticking and Form Tackler. And they've also tuned some of the more overpowered abilities to make them less dominant going into this year. Number 11, Signature Player Animations. One of my favorite things about this game are all the signature animations, all the top QBs approach the line just like themselves they call audibles just like themselves and they get in their signature stance you also have signature running animations for players like christian mccaffrey isaiah pacheco and saquon barkley and they're going to run just like their real life selves and on the defensive side of the ball you will see a lot of pre-play movement that makes it look like an actual real nfl defense is on the field number 12 new announcers the game has finally added new announcers and not only did they add new ones but they added multiple crews we have mike Tarico and greg olsen as a crew and then we also have kate scott and brock heward is another crew and you still have the third crew of Charles Davis and Brandon Gordon and you can rotate them or pick whichever crews you want for each game. Number 13, audio updates. A big focus for Madden 25 was updating the audio. That means crowd and sideline reactions are better than ever. Crowd chants are more audible and they took real crowd noise from NFL games last season. They've also updated the on-field sounds for hits and things of that nature to make it sound a lot more lifelike. Number 14, presentation updates. There's a lot to cover here. This is like 10 things rolled into one, but we have new pregame that'll show players warming up. There's different variations of this and they also still show player intros as well. There's new Super Bowl presentation that includes new celebrations celebrations as well they've updated a lot of visual stuff like adding 3d grass updating the shadows and the lighting to make them look more realistic than ever they've added motion blur to the game which i think is a nice touch but you can turn it off if you don't like it they of course added a new scoreboard they updated the practice facility they've even updated stadiums like gillette so now it looks complete after their renovations and this even carries over into franchise mode as well where you'll see new stat rankings and award projection banners popping up on the screen throughout the season number 15 new scenarios and franchise this was one of the bigger overhauls of the game as the old scenario system was very bland and the goal here was to make this more lifelike now we'll have to wait and see how this plays out because in the past we thought this would be a thing and it just was kind of flat but they've done a lot of talking about how now there are over 70 new scenarios in franchise mode more realistic ones like whether or not you want to choose to sit the rookie qb and help his development or throw him out there sooner you'll have players demanding the ball more and if you do not give them what they want they can demand trades supposedly we'll see how this all plays out but if they can make the players feel more lifelike inside a franchise that would be one of the biggest improvements in the mode in a long time number 16 franchise central this year in franchise mode they've changed a number of things but the franchise central is just the overall hub for franchise mode now with this new franchise central refresh it says one of our favorite additions is the new personal message system it delivers smart suggestions from characters within your organization offering suggestions on players you should target that are on the trade block free agent signing suggestions injury updates and more they also added a new top story section delivering breaking news including stories that are more visual and instant reactions to choices you make during your new dynamic storylines which we just talked about it says we also focus top stories on season matchups game recaps and player performance narratives that showcase the world building in your league every week and of course you can get information to things like standings and stats at your fingertips as well Number 17, new NFL draft. They have finally updated the NFL draft, which was long overdue. Now you'll see Roger Goodell on stage announcing the picks. You'll see the players come out, take their picture with Goodell holding up the jersey, and you'll see a draft board on the screen that shows all of the recent picks. When you're drafting players in the later rounds, it'll show the coaches in the war room, and it'll show the players at home holding up the hat. And along with this, they've also updated the prospect sorting, so you can finally sort by ratings, physicals, 40 times, and everything else. Number 18, team builder. We finally finally have a creative team back in Madden but they took it up a step and finally gave us a team builder something that Madden never had only the college games had this while Madden just had a regular creative team now it's going to have team builder which will allow you to upload your own custom logos create alternate helmets alternate jerseys and pretty much do whatever you want in terms of building your team which is going to be great for franchise mode number 19 rookie and team records they finally reintroduced us back into the game now every team has their specific team season game and career records there's also rookie season and game records that can be broken and when you do break these records there will be an on-screen celebration and a banner that pops up 
Number 20, new mini games. Last year, they brought back the mini games and mini camp, and this year, they're building on it and bringing us 15 new mini games like the two minute drill, pocket presence challenges, offensive lineman drills, and more. Number 21, a new gauntlet. We've got a brand new gauntlet for Madden 25, and it's better than ever, and it's pretty challenging. It's going to have a bunch of different ways to interact with it, including some of the new mini games being incorporated into it as well. Number 22, revamped combine for superstar mode. Last year, they brought back superstar mode they had the combine which was pretty cool but the biggest issue with it is it didn't really affect your player ratings it only affected your draft stock now how you perform in certain combine drills will actually give you a base ratings boost so now if you crush it in the 40 yard dash you can get higher speed based on how well you do number 23 new superstar quest inside of superstar mode there are now over 900 quests that you can take your player down based on a variety of different things from game goals season goals and just different things you want to achieve as an nfl player Number 24, new superstar customization. They've added quite a bit of new customization for superstar mode this year, which is pretty big. First, it starts with your avatar. There are new preset archetypes that you can choose which type of player you want to be. They've added new faces, hairstyles, and facial hair options, so you can make your character look as much like yourself as possible, and they were lacking a little bit in this area before. And this also includes tattoos. Yes, you can finally put tattoos on your player in Madden 25. And number 25, new equipment has been added to the game as well for all my equipment heads out there i'll talk more specifically on what equipment that is in the coming days but just know you've got some new stuff you've been waiting for now if you want to know more about madden 25's gameplay make sure you check out this video right here on the screen